It's kind of funky. <laughs> We're gonna make the rice pudding. Take a large pot and put it on the stove. Turn the heat on. It should be about medium high heat. So we're gonna take four and a half cups of whole milk. This is two cups of milk so far. All we need left is a half cup. All right, next we're gonna add one and a half cups of water. We're going to add in 3 fourths cup of sugar. Alright, that should be about the amount of sugar. We're going to do one cup of rice. The rice you're going to want to use is a boy. We're going to not want to use long grain rice. We're going to want to find rice that is short, not long. Alright, one cup of rice. Alright, last but not least, we're going to add a cinnamon stick. Take your spatula, stir this around. Now we're going to turn the heat up right underneath oil. Not boiling, but slightly underneath it. And we're gonna let this simmer for 35 to 45 minutes. And then after that, we can eat it. Now, we're gonna move on to working on the oatmeal while our rice pudding is taking time to cook. Make sure we have medium sauce. This is what we're gonna be using to make the oatmeal. You guys can, um, Follow the instructions on the back of the oatmeal if you like. That's also a little bit. But I'm gonna show you. Measure out one cup of milk. This can be any milk of your choice. If you would like, you can also substitute milk out for water. That's just tolerant. What we want to do is add a pinch of salt. So once it goes up to a boil, we're going to add in the old-fashioned oats. But in the meantime, we're going to be working on the applesauce and peas. Now, we're going to be adding in our oats to our oat. Our oats. Bring this down to a medium heat. We're going to stir occasionally. And then, this is only going to be for another 5 minutes. Be serious. Set timer for 5 minutes. Within our 5 minutes, we are going to be working on the painting. Get yourself two mixing bowls. A large one and a medium. In a large bowl, we're going to do our dry ingredients. In the smaller bowl, we're going to do our wet ingredients. Eventually, we're going to be combining. In our large bowl, we're going to have Flour, baby powder, sugar, cinnamon, and salt. So let's go ahead. Okay, we're gonna be measuring out one cup of flour. Okay, that should be about good. Pour it into your large mixing bowl. One tablespoon of baking powder. And that is the timer for the oats. We're going to leave this off to the side so that it stays warm, making sure it doesn't overflow again. We're going to put it on the lowest setting possible. Alright, one tablespoon of baking powder. One and a half tablespoon of granulated sugar. Whip there. Alright, next we're gonna be adding 
a half teaspoon of salt. Don't add too much salt because it will become very salty. A half teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Alright, now that is the dry ingredients. Now we're gonna mix it and then move on to the wet ingredients. Now we're going to move on to the wet ingredients. You'll know when your rice pudding is done when it is the same consistency as your oat. For the wet ingredients of the applesauce paper, we have the applesauce, the main ingredient. We're going to be measuring a half cup of applesauce. We're going to be measuring out one cup of milk. Okay. We're going to be adding two tablespoons of butter, but we have to melt the butter. So we're just going to prep our butter and then melt it using the microwave. I already have butter that's been used, so we're just going to do that. We know this is microwave safe, so we're going to be using this to melt the butter. All right, now we're going to be adding the vanilla. We're going to be adding a half teaspoon of pure vanilla. I think uh, one minute would be fine, but we'll just check it out. Okay. All right. Now the butter is melting. Now, combine all of your wet ingredients. Make sure it is well incorporated, but don't forget to add the egg, of course. Now, make sure the egg is incorporated. Fun fact, you guys, um, in foreign countries, they only use brown eggs, they don't use white eggs, and eggs are not refrigerated. All right. You can leave them out on your shelf. Yeah. yeah. You can technically leave them out if you have like chickens for yeah. about 12 yeah. days, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. Now you know something new, Chef Ryan. <laughs> you learn something new every day, guys. Yeah, you do. Yeah. You do. All right. Now we're going to be adding the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. Whisk it all together and make sure it is well incorporated. Make sure you see no more flour chunks. You still see flour, you're still gonna need to mix it more. Okay, I think it should be about good. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna be making our pancake. We're gonna be using this, I guess, to measure out our batter. It is one fourth cup. Turn on the pan to medium heat. All right, now we're gonna butter our pans and then put the, and then make our pancakes. This is to make sure that your pancakes do not stick to the pan. I do not like using cooking oil or spray on it because I think that would just ruin your pan. Just wait for it to be nice and bubbly and we're gonna flip it once it's ready. That's pretty much it. Look at those bubbles. We're getting... There we go. If you have not seen my how to use a knife video, make sure to watch that. There will be a link in the description down below.
Alright, now, time to garnish our food. Take your oatmeal. Scoop in however much you want. We don't have very much oatmeal in here, but that's alright. A little splash in here. That should be about good. Now, garnish with your peaches. Every chef must taste your food. It's actually really good. You get the sweetness of the peaches. Now, let's plate our pancake. Only thing you want to do is to taste it. He's kind of funky. <laughs> I would. This is the first time ever making applesauce pancakes. I did not know it was gonna turn out like this, but surprisingly, it's not that bad. But stick to regular pancakes. That is how you make oatmeal and applesauce pancakes. We are still waiting for this to, you know, solidify a tad bit more, but it is almost ready. We'll be ready with anything now. And our cinnamon stick that we're supposed to take out, actually. It, it's gone. It melted. It became one one with the rice pudding. It will give it a nice good cinnamon. Now, we're gonna put a dash of the Using cinnamon as a garnish. Every chef must taste their food. Oh, it might be really hot, I just realized. Oh, I don't know. That's actually really good. It's super sweet, actually. For the first time making this, I am surprised by myself. There you have it. That is how you make rice pudding. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video. Thank you.